<laughs> I think we're live. Okay, it says we're live. Good evening. It's Saturday night, December the 14th, and we are on a YouTube stream tonight live. And um, <clears throat> this is going to be a live show. And if you're watching this at a later time uh, and you want to zip through the, the boring parts to get Do to the fun part. The boring part to get to the fun part. <laughs> <Woo -hoo! laughs> I encourage you to do so. Zip through as you want to. I will be interacting with the live chat room because this is how we work. <laughs> and Joe is laughing at me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi, guys. There's Giovanna and Deborah and Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi. Hi, honey. How's everybody? I got to clean my desk off. <laughs> I know that much. I do know that much. Um, it won't take me very long here to get organized. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I got some happy mail to go out tomorrow. Or actually Monday. It'll go out Monday. <laughs> My Christmas, one of my Christmas presents was stamps. Hi, Shauna. <laughs> my, I did. Um, I went to get on on Streamyard, and uh, they said I they're limiting the hours that you can you can stream per month on the freebie thing. So they wouldn't let me stream. So I forgot how to get on. With YouTube because I've been doing StreamYard for so long <laughs> all summer. So I had to relearn how to get on YouTube. <laughs> so I did. I had to figure it out as fast as I could. And I tried. And I and then I then I accidentally hit the wrong button and I exited this out. So I'm back. So I learned from that little mistake. So hi everybody. Hi guys. I want to make some more clusters. I want to make some more clusters. So, y'all want to help me? Watch me? Help me make some clusters? Please? Can you say please? <laughs> you all got pet names for everybody. Lori Lou. Hi, Cat. Hi, Dar. <laughs> Deborah's going to help me. Thank you, honey. Anyway, I had I had so much fun uh, making these last week, and I ran out of them. Because I addressed some extra Christmas cards. So if um, I don't have your address, I can't send you a Christmas card. So I might need a couple of addresses. And I'm trying to think. I think I've got most everybody's. And Shauna, I don't. I don't think I have Shauna's address. You need to message, message me your address, please. I'm pretty sure I don't have it. Yep. If, if I don't have your address, you need to give me a message. Hi, Sherry. I don't think I have Sherry's address either. Nope. I do not. So, you better give me your address. I'm just telling you. Santa Claus knows if you've been naughty or nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Shauna. I've got, I've got a lot of the other girls. I think I've got all the others. Those are the two I just happened to look at. So, 
I'll make you a cluster. <laughs> I'll make you a little cluster, a Christmas cluster. The only thing is I have to make it flat, so I can't put a bulky button on it, but I can do everything else. So that'll work. So it was a beautiful day down here in Florida. Beautiful, gorgeous day. Got to go out in it a little bit. The sun's a shining. Nice, cool breeze, about 75. We had a Christmas parade. Had a big uh, kind of a craft show over at the church. It was called Christmas Under the Palms. And they have a lot of vendors that come and sell their wares. It was very, very nice. Very cute. Went over and walked through. Hi, Suzanne. So how's everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? Everybody feeling good? Hi, Joan. Anybody working on anything? What have you got on your table today? Uh... I've been doing really, really good. I'm happy with um, uh, my schedule right now. We've been doing, every time I stream, I've been doing a little bit of felting tips, doing felting tips. And I think I've made some headway with everybody. And uh, I will go over that in, in just a minute. After the, we do clusters, I'll go over my felting. <laughs> you got stuff on your table, Deborah? <laughs> oh, diamond painting. Oh, good. <gasps> Big surprise. Can you show pictures? I think those are so cute. And, oh, I, I saw something the other day. Maybe you can help me, Lori. They were talking about when you um, you have like a little uh, a little tool that you use to pick up your little diamonds with, and they use um, some kind of a little sticky substance to help stick them up. Is it beeswax? Someone said that you could use beeswax, and you put it on the tip of your little your little tool that you have. Your little I don't think it's a uh, tweezers, but I think it's a little pickup tool. It's got a little sticky stuff on it and it picks your diamonds up so that you can place them. And, and I think someone was using beeswax. Is that true? My beeswax is not very sticky. It's, it smells good. Mmm. Smells like honey. Joan can't find her table. <laughs> Hopelessly looking for her table. It's a nail picker upper two. Okay. I don't know what that is, but. A nail picker upper. Okay. Okay. I'm sure that that uh, I could probably look that up. Unsure if you can use beeswax. There is a diamond painter on YouTube that it's made up. Oh, it's made up a formula for it, but it must contain beeswax, and she calls it patty wax. <laughs> it's a knickknack patty wax. Give the frog a bone. I bought some, but there is a learning curve. Gotcha. Okay, makes sense there. That makes sense. It's got to have a little bit more sticky in it. I would think. So. 
Yeah. For now, use the pink stuff that they give you with the, with the kit. I, I'm with you there. Don't blame you there. Well, the only reason why I perked my ears perked up is because they said beeswax and I happen to have some. And uh, so I thought I would ask. Thank you. So I was on the uh, Facebook for the past hour. I've been. Well, actually, I've been on Facebook all afternoon, but I was on there looking for, uh, I'm looking for a puppy, another puppy for Abby. Yes, beeswax is one of the ingredients. Okay, thanks, Lori. That was good. Um, so I got on Facebook and I got on to a, an adoption page. And um, thank you, Sherry. I'll get it. I'll get it in a minute and um so hopefully i've got my feelers in of course i live in florida and they there's a there's one place that uh, pet finders and it's all over the united states of course i had to pick florida so i'm looking i'm looking for another skipper key and i'm hooked i'm hooked on skipper keys um that's what abby is it's a type of dog and they have a personality about them that is just awesome. Isn't that right, Abby? That's right. So Joe mentioned it last, oh, a couple months ago. Yeah, I know it. And I thought if I got a new puppy and Abby's a a girl of course I don't, I don't think that really matters if she's a girl or boy but since she is a girl i think she would mother it you know and we can pretend she's the mother she can be the grandmother and um and they say that if uh you know you give an elderly dog uh another pup or another dog that they would they would last longer because they would they wouldn't they would always have company you know something to live for not that i am not you know i'm i'm her she thinks i'm her mother so i know she, you know she's close to me but uh but she turned 11 this year and so joe said you know let's Let's get another dog. And I said, okay, <laughs> no problem with me. <laughs> you won't hear me back talking. Uh -uh. I'm ready for another dog. Because I've always said if anything happened to her, that I would go straight to the pound. Yep, they're, they are kind of, they're just a, uh, some Christmas fabric. He's okay. But they look good on a cluster. Let's see if I can find one uh, out of a, somebody's mail. This one doesn't have a Santa Claus on it, but this is what I'm this is what I'm going to do with them. I've got some Christmas cards, and I'm just going to make a, a little cluster to put on, and I just stapled it on. I got my tiny staple. I got I got some more tiny staplers for my Tim Holtz stapler. I got this at uh, Tuesday mornings for like four dollars. I I lucked out on that, but I couldn't find the staplers, and they don't sell the staplers in Walmart. I mean, or in um, Michaels or Hobby Lobby. So I had to order these online. They were probably more than the stapler. <laughs> So that's what I'm putting in my Christmas cards because it's flat and it's a tag. So there. That's my goal. That's my goal. That's enough of those for now. Let me get some more fabric out. And what else can I tell you? There's my stamps. I do stamp claw stamps. Talked to the nicest guy at the post office today. 
he was he was so nice he answered all my questions i had to ask him to uh, verify uh postage uh cost and I, I'll go over that with y'all since you all probably do a little bit of mail too. These are global stamps. They go anywhere outside of the United States. And they are worth a dollar fifteen. AAME postage. Okay, and and explain AAME, Suzanne. Thank you. You can mail up to two ounces. I thought it was one. Two ounces. So when I mail something international, and I've got three internationals over here, they'll use one of these, and I can uh, and mail up to two ounces on my scales. And and I take my, I got these little scales from uh, Harbor Freight. And you can mail, you can weigh your like if you're if you're paying for gold, you gold you can weigh your gold on here. <laughs> I saw that on a YouTube channel. <laughs> but anyway, you can you can weigh your letters. And I take a letter like this, and I I I stand it up straight up, and you can see how many ounces. <coughs> and this is just a half an ounce. Same. It's the same postage. Same postage. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Well, you, you can explain it if you need, if I'm not saying it right. And anyway, I mail, I weigh my letters. Anything up to an ounce is in, in America is a, is a regular stamp and it's 55 cents, I think. <coughs> oh, <laughs> Joan <laughs> yeah I suppose you could use you could weigh anything you could weigh your your drugs you could weigh your your meat your food <laughs> your, but I, I weigh my letters <laughs> so anyway this is one stamp and this is up to an ounce on a regular a regular size envelope if you do an out of out of the country it's a dollar 15 and it's two ounces if you are over an ounce, then you have to add extra postage. And this is a, it says additional ounce on the bottom of this. It's a, it's still a forever stamp, but it's not 55 cents. This stamp is 15 cents. And I write them on the back so I don't forget. And so, so if I'm over an ounce, I can add one regular forever stamp in one of these. I, well, I try to go with one. Uh, I try to go with one ounce when I when I do my, most of my mailings. Now I also have uh, postcard stamps, and they are worth thirty five cents. Excuse me. <coughs> and I thought I had some here. But I think I'm out of postcard stamps. Or I've misplaced them. But anyway, a postcard is 35 cents. Which which is cheaper than 55. <laughs> well, if they want to arrest me, they can arrest me. But all they're going to find is, is uh, just... You know, they're going to find stuff out, well, you know, whatever I have here on it. <laughs> That's all they're going to find. Yes, I do. So if you have any questions about mailing anything, <clears throat> I have done a little demo on uh, sizes of mailing. If anybody has any questions, <clears throat> I've got the minimum and the maximum size of the envelopes down pat. So I can show you how you can mail something as minimum price as possible because I believe that and I wanted to measure these and y'all yeah, see these fit in here so I got some extra large envelopes and they're Christmas envelopes and um, they will fit on here so so they are perfectly fine so as long as they go through the slot 
the, it'll go through and there's the how big the slot is but they're not going to stand there and and push them all through <laughs> they're going to when i put give them all of this they're going to they're they won't say anything <laughs> Yes, Teresa, that is not true. A postcard, of course, it has to be a postcard. It cannot be mailed. <clears throat> it cannot be folded over. A postcard is a single piece of paper. And it's usually a, 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 a cardstock size. I found these at the, the secondhand store. This is a postcard, and it's 35 cents. Yes, that's what this is. It's ounces and uh, grams and all that other all that other good stuff. Now, this particular postcard, it doesn't matter what it weighs as long as it's thin and it's only one. See, it's 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 like 0.17. So yes, he's not telling you the truth or, or he misunderstood you or something because there's no way these are, these are all postcards and they have to be a certain size. Now they have to be a certain size. Uh, the postcard is four and a fourth by six is a postcard size. And I researched this in depth. See, I did my homework. Yep. Yeah, I really, I really, yeah, it's four by six and, and it's 35 cents. Yes. If it's bigger than that, then they can charge you 55 cents. So if you've got a bigger card, now this is a, you know, this is like what I call junk mail. You know, you get these in the mail and, and they have a little, um, to a resident number right here and here's their their postal number now these this is a commercial deal that they have it's prepaid us postage paid in in advance it's a prepaid card and they they mail these out by the thousands you know and they have a deal with the postal service for their price i do not have commercial prices here in front of me i'd have to go in and and go through a class or something for that but this is a commercial size and and this size is supposedly the largest letter that that you can mail and it's supposedly 55 cents if this was an envelope with something inside of it as long as it was under an ounce and, and this particular cardboard weighs, point forty five, which is almost a half of an ounce. So if this was an envelope, you could put half of an ounce worth of paper inside and mail it for 55 cents. This is the largest letter, okay? And it's six and a half by 11 and a half, and that's one fourth of an inch thick. And here's my thick, my thick line, my, my thickness. It has to be able to go through this slot. Now you can buy this template online. You can buy a professional post office that has all of this information on it from the post office. They sell things like this. But since I was a crafter, I just crafted my own <laughs> because because I can. Yeah, that's it. So anyway, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and put a postcard with this little batch of info. And then the minimum size, the littlest card that you can mail, it has to be so big or it won't go through. The smallest thing that you could mail is three and a half by five. If it's, if it's the size of a postcard, if it's just a postcard thick, it should go through if it's three and a half by five. That's the smallest you can mail. If it's anything smaller, they can refuse it. That's right, Teresa. We can do it. So 
But if it's an envelope and it has a little, uh, it's like a little thank you card. And I've got one right here. Let's see if it's what size it is. <clears throat> I found these little cards at the uh, Habitat for thank you cards. They're just little blank cards with an S on the front. So it's it's um, it's it's five it's five inches long and it's about four inches wide tall. But this is almost the size that you can mail that is a legal size, and this would be fifty five cents because of the envelope it's it's something inside the envelope if it was a postcard and just one cardboard thick it could be it could be shipped as a postcard but it has to be it has to be just the cardstock for a postcard and this is the smallest that you can mail in an envelope. Now, but this one is 55 cents, and then this one would be 35 cents. Oh, that's a great idea. Sign up for information delivery daily digest. And you will see a picture of your mail coming. And when I and when when we're getting our packages. Huh. Hi, Sharon. Well, anyway, that's my little postage lesson for you today. And uh I I I'm pretty sure that I'm accurate on on the information. And if I'm not accurate, then, then, you know, let me know, uh, you know, if, if I can help you out in any way, but that's, you know, I've asked several people, uh, postal people, and I have, uh, looked at it online and so forth and so on. So, uh, I've done, you know, I've kind of done my homework. So back to my back to work. Rabbit trail. But I found these postcards at the second hand store and they're old Western uh, out west pictures, postcards. <laughs> you know who that is. You know who this is, don't you? So uh, I used to know some people that um collected postcards if anybody collects them let me know i need another clip so rabbit trail i know i got some more clippies in there somebody gave me these <laughs> she somebody gave me these and she was she is fabulous. Mm hmm I think it was Sharon. It was Sharon. Well, I thought I had some of those clips. Those bigger clips. Uh, I guess I'll just use this one instead. This will work. Teresa, you do. Okay. I'll put one in your card. Which one do you like? There's the Indians with the pots on their head. <laughs> right, another rabbit trail. Here is a picture of a little waterfall in Grove Park Inn in Asheville, North Carolina. Here's a picture of... Uh, What's his name? Jack Nicholson. Nick Nicholson. Sitting in a snow chair. Here is a picture of the Howard Chandler Christie girl. She 
Chicago. And I think it says 1901. I'd have to get my my um, magnifying glass out. Now, I heard a thing. Now, what did I do with my phone? There it is. Okay. Uh, it's a little antique postcard of a Chicago. Howard Chandler. Chris, that looked like a, a collector. Oh, you're going to let me choose? Here is, it looks like an Egyptian type of a card. Oh, it's from somebody. Somebody from Indian Niantic, Florida. Dear Candy, how are you? <laughs> it's personal. You did not hear me. What, Cheryl? Did I say hi, Cheryl? Surely I said hi, Cheryl. And there's another Jack. And this one's the Duke. Here's some parrots. And this one is a Western Saturday Night Dimming NM. Is that? Where's in North Montana? Never heard of it. Albuquerque, New Mexico. That one's New Mexico. And here's another Western Post. Billy the Kid. And then here's another uh, family photo of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. New Mexico. Mm-hmm. Suzanne, that site has everything. They deliver my stamps. Oh, okay. And the flat eight envelope boxes. And those are free. When I mail a package, I go to the site and pay for your package and print the label and request it a pickup. Okay. I think I remember seeing them do that, Suzanne. And that is really good. If you if you weigh it and and scale it, they, they'll send you, they'll let you print your off your payment and you can pay it all online. It's ups.gov. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Well, if you don't tell me, I'm just going to have to close my eyes. But that would be, look cool on a on a page, a craft page. Good. Thanks, Suzanne. Alrighty, I just randomly took some. Okay. All right, we got trees to take care of. Now I'm back to my snippets. Rabbit trails. So here's the more some more of my fabric. I've got some other Santa Clauses here and snowmen. Uh, who else in here streams? Uh, is Shauna still in here? Let's go ask Shauna a question. I know it. They're stars, and they're it's a real bright, bright, pretty blue. Vibrant. I was going to ask Shauna a question on streaming if she. If she's still in here or anybody else that streams that might know. Since they're changing things, I want to make sure I'm not out of 
I'm not in trouble when I, uh, I just found out tonight that I couldn't get back on uh, StreamYard for this month because, uh, okay, Suzanne, good. She's going to get a scale. I got my little scale at ha Harbor Freight and they might have one even on the, on the, uh, postage site. <coughs> <coughs> But anyway, StreamYard is, I think they're just going to limit the amount of hours that you stream per month. And uh, I guess, you know, that way, uh, if you want to stream more, then you need to buy like a subscription. And I can understand exactly what, what they're trying to do and where they're coming from. It makes it makes sense. It really does. But as long as I can stream for free, I'm going to try. <laughs> I want to try to stream for free if I can. Because StreamYard was giving uh, discounted uh, discount subscriptions if you uh, order before the end of the year or it was in during the summertime. They had a they had kind of a promotion sale if you ordered. If you uh, went ahead and bought your yearly subscription, they were giving it at a discount. <clears throat> okay, Suzanne. Yeah, you'll have to get it on Amazon. Okay. Okay. So, uh, that's where I, I was coming from on the uh, streaming. Uh, I'm going to because I enjoy streaming. I really, I really, really like it. And I like, well, it's because of you guys that I like it. <laughs> it cost you $17 to send a package to Mary. <laughs> well, I've done that before. I've sent things out and, <clears throat> and didn't know the rules of the packages. <clears throat> and I didn't know... <clears throat> For example, if if a, if you got a box and you're mailing the box, <clears throat> and if it's an odd shape box, it costs you more. And if it's a if it's a, like one of these envelopes, if you can get it in a soft envelope like this, it's you can send it cheaper, you know. But if you have to send a big box, it's going to cost more. Go ahead, Trees, ask me. Hi, Terry. And I also found out that even though you have something in an envelope this size, if you can roll down the top of it, however much you can roll it down, as much as you can with whatever you have inside, if you can fold it down, this will be cheaper than this. It'll be cheaper. <laughs> what size tree am I going to have? <laughs> I have a six foot tree in the garage. And <clears throat> my neighbor asked me today, well, you know, how's your Christmas decorating coming along? And I said, well, uh, 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 what Christmas decorations? <laughs> I, said, I don't have any Christmas decorations yet out. Because I had company for Thanksgiving, and normally I put my tree up after Thanksgiving, and so uh, I haven't got my tree out yet, and here it is, 14th of December. I normally have it up right after Thanksgiving, but I had company, and all of my company stayed for like two weeks. I should have had them put it up, but I didn't want to impose. <laughs> I really didn't want to impose. They did enough. Uh, one daughter did, she helped me clean, she helped me clean the garage out. And I was just so thankful to get that done. And I'm excited about that because you know what that means? We got the garage cleaned out. So after the felting classes, we're going to do pottery. And, and I'm really excited because I really like doing my pottery. So that is something to look forward to, but I can't do both at the same time. And uh, and if anybody has any loving suggestions on how I'm going to be able to stream live from the 
garage. I got to figure out how to do that. You have ceramic trees. I have a little ceramic tree uh, that's just tabletop. It's probably maybe 12. It's probably 12 or 15 inches tall. And it's one of those painted ceramic ones that has those little tiny little uh, colored light bulbs that go in it. And you put it, it, there's a light bulb that goes in the bottom of the tree and it lights it up. I have one of those. Oh, Deb, your neighbor bought you a Christmas ZD, Z dish cloth towel pot holder. And told me to put it out to decorate. Huh. Okay. Now, I'm not sure, but it's a towel or a pot holder. Okay. A dishcloth towel pot holder set. I bet it was a set. And then leave it out and that would be your, your decorations for Christmas. <laughs> That's all right. That'll work. That would work. A two foot fake tree in a pot that Allie decorated, and that's all for me. Well, that sounds all right, Terry. I don't, that sounds good. I've always had a big tree, and I've got a beautiful tree, and um, <clears throat> we put it up every year, and um, and it's just going to be me and Joe. I'm not expecting any company over Christmas. So I might I might do just the tabletop this year. Be a, it would be a first time. But um, I have a lot of Christmas decorations. And I want to go through all mine and, and downsize. That uses batteries. My mom has a couple of those, and they're uh, they're plastic, but they're clear, and they light up in red and green, and they and they and they take a little little round battery in it. And but my mom's got a tabletop tree, and her tree is probably oh it's it's four or five foot, and it sits up on top of the end table. So it's oh I'm sorry, so it goes up to the top of the window. You know it's big. And she has all red balls and and white shells on her on her tree. It's cute. So I'm I'm looking at downsizing and and I want to get my uh, decorations out and put out my favorite things. And then at the end of Christmas, I want to repack it into this one little closet that I have in the in the living room for storage. And I and I was going to dedicate half of that for Christmas. I've got two little shelves with all my Thanksgiving things. And then I don't have to grab a big box from the garage. And I'm thinking future now. We're still able to get into the garage and get the boxes down and everything. But one of these days, you know, I'm I'm just thinking in advance I want to make it easy on myself and uh, so there's nothing wrong with thinking about the future and that's how I was thinking on that but when I get it all uh, put up I'll, I'll take you all out there and show it to you but I have a I have a train and the train goes under the tree, and it's a, um, it's a famous train set. Uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Fast track? No. Is that what I want to say? Um, it's on the tip of my tongue. Lionel. It's a Lionel fast track train. It's a Lionel. And, um, and I usually put it up under the tree and, and it has it has one little round thing and then it has an outside track where you can change lanes. I know. We always had trains under the tree when we were kids. Daddy had all these old train sets and he'd let 
we, there was five of us kids, you know, and he had the coal truck and the little coal made a big mess and everything. And the little milk jugs that, that you they pushed out and they were magnetized and the little milk jugs would go in on the sidecar and push in on, and, and, and it would stick to the uh, magnet to the to the surface, you know. Yeah, I'm making clusters. Hi, Lucille. <laughs> I watched Lucille all afternoon. <laughs> A grandy dancer. My brother even has the grandy dancer. I know. I do too. But I'm just. Uh, I have more energy now than I used to. Uh, I really do. I, last year this time. I did not have any energy. And I was, I was heavier. I was 30 pounds heavier. And I tell you. It's amazing what 30 pounds will do. If if uh, if you have a weight problem, like I did, uh, it really really affected me. I just it just a grandy dancer is a little pump car on the railroad. Okay, like Petticoat Junction. I'm okay. I think we had we might have had something like that. We had these little stoppers at the end where you would have to stop the train and then you'd back it up and change the tracks and go again. We learned all kinds of things about trains. Of course, we lived on the river and we also lived right beside a train track, a real, you know, railroad train track. So we like trains. <laughs> so I was raised with them. And um, <clears throat> so anyway, when Joe and I got married, he had these train train sets downstairs in the basement and I said oh good I said let's set up a table and let the grandkids go down there and and he would he we just never got around to it because he worked and he didn't have time to fool with that and I couldn't get him to move any any faster so we never did get the train track so I went out and bought me a Lionel train track one year and it, I got it at Walmart and it was on sale and they only had five of them up there on top of the shelf and they said they're going to go like hotcakes so I jumped up there and got me one of those Lionel train sets and every year for three or four years I added another train and uh, and I would go to the hobby shops and <clears throat> see, like in the summertime or in the fall, I'd go over to the to where their trains are, and they would always have some kind of a discounted area. And if they had any uh, trains that were uh, outdated or whatever they want to get rid of, I'd always buy me a new a new car, you know. So I've got as many cars as I can put on my that would pull with my engine. So uh, it's a cute, it's a cute collection. And this used to be one of my shirts. <laughs> so if you got any old clothes that you're going to put in the rummage, reconsider taking part of it and put it in your snippet file. I'm just saying, I'm not trying to hoard, hoard everything. Can't keep everything. But something like this is cute for, for Christmas. Just saying. It was just a t-shirt and it was stained. So I just cut off one end of it. And it's pretty on both sides. Look at that. You can't even tell which side. But there's a candy stripe. Snippets from old clothes and buttons. You can keep the buttons too. How do you think grandma got her old button jar <laughs> filled up with buttons? Guarantee you she took off all the buttons off of granddad's old shirts that were wore out, dirty and stained. She took all the buttons off of the collars and off of the, the cuffs. And all of the ones down on the front of the shirt. Guarantee you that's where she got all of her buttons from. Hey. 
hey, did y'all know? <laughs> Suzanne, or Teresa's going to say something. I always save my buttons. There you go. We can't. <laughs> Lucille says, we can't. If your hubby asks for, oh, <laughs> I saw that on the internet today. <laughs> there was a joke that said, my husband asked for for lip balm for his chapped lips and I gave him my glue stick but now he won't talk to me <laughs> I saw that just earlier I did that's so funny <laughs> that is cute And this is an old dress, um, a day dress. One of those, uh, what do they call them, dust gowns? Little, little dresses. And I think my grandmother wore this. So this is for my grandmother. I think she wore that. I don't have very much of it, but it was from a gown, a dressing gown. She would put on these little smocky things and wear them around all day long. <clears throat> that's what grandma's did oh hi Allie is she online or is she there with you Carrie Yo, does Allie want to play a game I'll play a game with Allie we could do a pick 10 because it's even got hand stitched in it that's hand stitching I'm just saying that's what my grandmother would have done. <laughs> Teresa said, sorry, I had to do it. Yeah, I know what you mean. That was funny. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit. This is very pretty. I don't know where this came from, but it's almost like a... It's see-through-ish. You can see through it. Sheer. It's sheared. And if you had this, if you had this in an outfit, you'd have to have it lined. Something lined on the inside. Satin or something. Okay, Allie wants to play a game. Does anybody else want to play a pick 10 with me? Shall we? Shall we play a game? I got to make, let me make at least two snip snippets. <laughs> You're working on Christmas cards, Suzanne? Okay. Me too. These are for my Christmas cards. Let me make two snippets and then we'll then we'll play. what time it is eight o'clock okay give me 10 minutes we'll play in 10 minutes and i'm done with the scissors and i got a couple of cards so I'm, I'm recycling cards, and my girlfriend gave me some of her old cards, so that'll be cute. 
this fabric here is really really antique and it's got like a swiss dot it's a swiss dot it's like felt or velvet those little dots are like velvet just saying and if i line these up i can i can do a uh, assembly 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 line here how about that some of those I love this cranberry. Get my granny on here. Gotta have a little bit of Nana. Here's my Nana. I miss her. We were close. And there's uh, another green. It's holly and ribbon. And then I'll put I'll put uh, either Santa Claus or um I'll put this one on here because it matches better. And a piece of lace. Just happened to have some. A little piece of lace. So if you get one of these in the mail, uh, you might have to put one of your buttons on it. If you want it, if you want another button on it, because I'm not going to be able to mail all the buttons in the mail. I'm afraid they'll kick me back on that. This one and this one and maybe this one i'll do a santa claus over here maybe i'll put the santa claus on top Didn't staple. I know I put new sta staples in there. Let's try it again. <gasps> no. Don't tell me. I put them in. I know I put them in. Okay, plan B. I do have a plan B. No worries. I just have to fight it. Fight it. I want to go faster and <laughs> it's not letting me. <laughs> My material gets stuck in the paper there. I like it. I like it. Oh, this one goes on that one.
<laughs> uh oh, Suzanne has a virus. Oh, and Cheryl's not feeling good. Okay. Okay, you guys watch. <laughs> Lucy, Lucy needs to work on her Christmas cards too. These are my Christmas cards. <laughs> You came in late. You didn't see what was on my desk before I started. That little bit of lace peeping out of there just makes that to me. Just like icing on the cake. Have y'all been watching any Christmas movies? Oh, you're making cards. Okay. Tracy's making her cards. This one's going to require an extra staple. And these are green staples. See, they're green. Mm hmm So they match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tracy just got over a three-day headache. Oh, I love you. Did you? What was your puppy's name now? Have you named him yet? Tracy's got a new little puppy. Okay, and we'll put this away, and we'll play a game before um, Allie B has to go to bed. See, we have an Alley K and an Alley B. That's how I decided today how we're going to get keep them straight. We've got two alleys. So we'll do some more of those later. And I'll get my bingo uh, or my uh, sketchbook out. We'll do another page in it. The little book. We're going to get the little book out. Sparkle. Oh, she's a little sparkle. All right. These are different prompt games that I did. And then I had other pages where I just glued. I just glued things down randomly. If it looked, if it matched, it, it got glued down. This was a game. I, I've been marking them, but this is, uh, I remember doing this one. This is a pick eight back in June. Well, we're, we're playing next. I'm just going to do a flip through to the back. This was, uh, this was during Becky's game on a pick eight. There's another pick eight in July. Says I need my vitamin C, S-E-A. <laughs> it's an underwater theme. And this was, this was, um, this was Becky's pick eight. And then I did the same, the same game with different colors. With the same stencil, but I flipped it over. So it's mirrored. And I just glued this in yesterday, and this was my chain pull feather that I did with a with a chain, and I pulled it through the paint and made a feather. And then I glued a few of these things down yesterday, too. And this was another game. Happy Mail Stencil Art Game. This is what I pulled out of the stencil book. And did an art page with whatever items was in the page. We could still do that too. Uh, it is like five things in each one of the stencil pages. And this is something that I did with the art bar. I painted this with the art bar and Ian Jackson in uh, the UK. I believe he's in the UK. Uh, this was a, uh, oh, this is a happy mail page 
from from Tanya Woodward, and I need to write her name on that, or I'll forget. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I said thank you, Tanya Woodward. That's that's who this happy mail's from. Exactly. She sent me. I sent her some happy mail. I sent her the first happy mail she's ever received. She's never received it before. And so I mailed her some happy mail and she was so tickled. <laughs> she mailed me a little bit back and I put a, made a page out of it. And this is just a, a map that I glued down on the back. And then I did a, some stencil uh, with texture paste one day, just being bored. This was doodling with some leftover stencils. And I did this with Shauna. She was in here earlier. This was when uh, Paint Along with Shauna back in February. And she did a page very similar to this. And uh, I love it. Here's another art page. I got a cluster on this one. Look at this cluster. It's got a wooden button and some fabric and it's got a pin, a safety pin. Is it one of the bead pins? Yep, it's one of those bead pins that doesn't have the, sp the spiral spring at the end. So the beads go all the way around on that little safety pin. It's called a bead pin. Well, that's what I call them. And I did this. It was a pick eight in April. And this is another pick 10 stick prompts in July. I painted this in April. And don't forget to give Beth a thumbs up. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Teresa. You have to watch your sodium and your chocolate. Do they cause headaches? Mm-hmm. Success. Pick 10, July. That was fun. This is just a, a blank page, and I had some leftover paint, and... I decorate my left my my odd pages that I don't have anything on. I decorate them. And this was a this was a game. I remember doing this not too long ago because we had to use fiber and then beads. This is really cute. <laughs> Look, it's just and I got a stencil in the background and a napkin. And some flowers from a magazine and then some burlap. I love that. I really like that. I don't have it. Oh, yes, I do. Here it is. It was stencil art back in July. My eyes aren't focusing. See, this is just a blank page and I just painted it yellow and put some glitter paint on it. Surprising. This was a pick 10 in July. Look how cute that is. And I think this was done with the credit card. And I made lines and I made boxes. That, that was cute. Here's another game. Let's see if I can see. Feel confident. This is um, from one of those coloring books that my mom did. And I, and I cut out, recycled some of those coloring pages. I've got beads on it. I've got thread on it. I've got punch outs on it. And I've got bees on it. I'm sure it was a game. That's cute. Uh, I think this is a card. It was just a greeting card. I don't see any markings on that. But I've got a fairy. And then I got a fish person <laughs> standing there to stamp. And then this was done uh, with a from a pen pal, one of my pen pals. Her name is Evie, and she sent me these things, and I put thank you Evie there, dedicated that page to her. I was trying to draw a cat. 
this was a, a, a sketch doodle from a book that I have over here. And we put a, a ball around his neck. I did that earlier this summer. And there I tried to draw a chicken. I've got to be me. Look here, Lori. <laughs> hey, Lori. <laughs> I've got to be me. And I got a bumblebees on here. And this is a big bumblebee. And I used galls for the, the wings. There's galls. And I've got some yarn around the base uh, as a frame. You remember Sadie? Sadie? This is sticker art. This is all done with stickers and washi tape. This would be cute for you to do, uh, Allie. You could do something like this with your stickers. And all I did was I kind of drew a, a trying to, I just lightly drew a flower. I drew the flower. You can see the pencil marks. And then I just sort of used those as my lines to put my stickers. And these were all little stickers. And I put each one of them down. <laughs> Yeah, this is something that you can do, Allie. Easy. I think it's supposed to be a cat. <laughs> Here's another bumblebee, and I made it out of washi tape. And I had glitter, something glittery, glitter paper, and then this is wallpaper. This was a devotion that I did. Uh, it was either Lisa or Sue Hale that I did this with. I do a lot of devotions sometimes. Here I tried to do an apple tree and I had apple stickers. And I wrote down a, uh, a Bible verse for over here, but I didn't put it in yet. You deserve art. It's all about the art. And <clears throat> there's a border. It's rickrack. So it might have had ribbon. There's bees, painty papers, doilies, random numbers. There's a napkin in the background of flowers. There's some stamps of birds. And I'm going to say those were the prompts. And a title. Here was a stencil art that I did randomly. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You're a natural. Shine on and on. I love it. It is really cute. Here's another one. <laughs> it was a prompt night. Saturday night throwdown. <laughs> Someone they said uh, a bridge. I remember the bridge. And somebody said bungee jumping. This was these were prompts from you guys. Somebody bungee jumping, and I used a piece of elastic. This is a piece of elastic. And I used a piece of rope, which is a cording on the the uh, bridge. They said a pink flamingo and somebody said a strawberry. I think Rejoice, Rejoicey said that, a strawberry. And then I've got a, a bale of hay. And this is a picture of a man baling uh, with a pitchfork of hay and a horse. And I think that might be a sticker. And, <clears throat> and this little girl's got a... A crown or something on her head. Oh, she's a, a clown. And she's got a diamond over her eye. And she's got a heart over her eye. So I don't know if it was face painting or a clown. It might have been a clown. And I turned her into a little clown. So that was a throwdown night. <laughs> this was a play on words. 
and somebody had it on YouTube and it and it was a picture of a cat with a hairdo. And this is a bob cut hair cat, a bob. So it's a bob cat. It's a play on words. So I drew it. Uh, no, Joe drew this one. Joe drew this one because he wrote his name initials on it. And then, then I did this one. But I think Joe did better than me. He did real good. He He's quite the artist. I need to get him in here more often. And this was a, a pick. This was Lisa Conley, December the 1st. And it was a devotion. It was a devotion. That was nice. And then we did this not too long ago. And this was a pick 10 on December the 7th. And uh, you all dared me to sew him. And I, and I sewed him with needle and thread. <laughs> that was fun. We're getting to the end. And this was just the other day. <clears throat> And I didn't write it down, but it was another pick 10. But I dated it. It was a pick 10 on the 12th. Okay. That was cute. That was fun. Yeah, it's a bob haircut, all right. So here we go. So um, ask um, Allie, ask Allie if uh, what kind of prompts does she want to use tonight, or do you want to let the audience give us Christmas prompts? Ask uh, Ask Allie what she wants to do, or Terry, you tell me what you want to do. Or I can get the deck of cards out. I got cards with prompts. We could also do the bingo cards, uh, get the bingo prompts out, the old fashioned prompts. I still have those up here. Somewhere. She said, just do some random card prompts or the bingo prompts. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, well, this is an ACT thing. <clears throat> okay, we'll do cards. That's all I found. I'm sure they're here somewhere. The autofocus. Oh. Okay. I was probably moving too fast, Cheryl. I know how that goes. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Is everybody still with me? My screen went black. My iPad. It wasn't my computer, but my iPad went blank. Okay. Let's see here. Use a napkin. Use a song lyrics or song uh, uh, music paper. Use fibers or ribbon. Use a rubber stamp. I'm going to write these down so that you can see them. Rubber stamps. Let's 
some of these we used the other day. We did we did all of those the other day. We use those. Use some washi tape. We did those the other day. Use a stencil, add an envelope, seven, add beads, add a quote, draw circles, include a photo type, a photo pay, uh, picture. Those would be our our alternates and we'll write them all down so that you can see them let me get a piece of paper I won't go find any in there Here we go. I'll just recycle. <laughs> I'm recycling. Now I'm going to write these down and you can do them in any order. So if you need to gather them around <clears throat> gather them up, you can. A napkin. A, a music. Music paper or something. Fiber or ribbon. That could be lace, it could be burlap, it could be string, it could be uh, anything, any, any kind of uh, thread, anything like that. A stamp, some kind of a stamp, um, a rubber stamp, like a Christmas stamp or something. Washi tape. Modeling paste. And if you don't have any modeling paste, you can just stencil through, um, use just paint and sponge it through a stencil. I think that's more or less, but you can put modeling paste on without a stencil, but I'll probably will use a stencil. And then add an envelope. And I can show you how to make one real quick. It's easier if you have a thin piece of paper. Oh, look, I've got a recycled envelope I can use. <laughs> I think I'm going to use that. But I can show you how to make an envelope, too. Here, I have a piece of paper. It's, it's, it had stickers on it. But all you have to do to make an envelope, it's real easy, is you just need a, a square. So any kind of a square, okay, there's your square, and then you're going to, you're just going to kind of fold it in, fold the corner up once, and the top down once, and this is going to be your flap, your envelope flap, you can fold this, fold this down a little bit if you want, and then this, this side folds in. And you can put it on the inside if you want. Can you see me? Fold this side in and this side in. And there you have an envelope. And then when this one goes back up, it, you glue it down to, you glue your sides down a little bit. And if you need to env even it up, you can. Till it looks like an envelope. Like that. And then this is your flap. 
so you can make it real tiny, real small. So you just literally make a square and fold in all the corners to make your envelope. Well, my, uh, Deb, they, it, I, my iPad blacked out. So, yeah, it must have been, I must have been moving too fast. Cheryl, I hope it doesn't do it again. If it does, let me know and I'll see if I can't figure out how to turn the autofocus off. But right now, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I've already kicked this out once trying to get online. Okay, so there, there was the pocket uh, rabbit trail. <laughs> Add an envelope. B. And let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight. And then our alternates will be circles and a photograph. And a photo. Photo. A photo. And if you need another card, let me know. I'll be glad to. I've got more. Deborah is buffering. Okay, honey. So those are our prompts. And I'm going to use my napkin and I'm going to put it down first before I put any collar down so that it's part of my page. And I'm going to open my book up. And I have a piece of paper here that I'm going to put behind my sheet so that um, it keeps my book clean. So if I go up the edges, it protects my other pages. Okay. Anything else? Am I doing okay? Now my stencil if I glue this I'm just going to go ahead and glue it down just get her down then we get to put something inside I could put my photo inside mm I'm going to put my white envelope down. Is everybody else okay? Anybody else playing along? Or are you just watching? A napkin. Shall I get a Christmas napkin? That would be good. I'm going to look for a Christmas napkin. <clears throat> Okay, Joan's eating supper. Okay, what are you eating? What's for supper, Joan? This is this is one of my napkin books that I have. It's a big three ring binder, and I just got it tied shut with some lace. And then inside I have sheet protectors and I've got napkins inside. Let's see if I can't find a Christmas napkin. I like both of those.
And we'll take this. Chicken and broccoli and rice. That has to be one of my favorites. I like that. Very good. I'll save this for next time. And this is all, this is a good, good trading napkin because it's on all fours. And I've already used one of them probably from last year. So I'm going to take one more corner and use it on my page and put this, take this in for next time. And uh, <clears throat> I've kind of got Valentine's and spring in the front, summer and, and ocean in the middle. There's another piece on earth. And then I got Christmas and Thanksgiving in the back. <laughs> this is all fall. That's spring or summer. And then here's some more fall. And then I got some more Christmas pictures. Christmas napkins in the back. So I think I got those two, and that's fine. So I'm happy with that. I haven't been in this book for a long time. <clears throat> I try to keep samples in in this book. I need to update it um, and put. Uh, all my samples in here of one of a kind and then put all my extra ones that I can use in another box that I can use out of that's what I was my original idea was but it don't matter now so here's my napkin and I could put that on there and then I can lift it up that would be alright and here's my message We'll see about that. Then I need some music paper. I don't know that I have any Christmas music right here, but there might be. There's good Christian men rejoice and sing. I think that's a Christmas song. We'll just use that one. See what we can do with it. Might as well keep it all in the family. So I've got a napkin. And I got some music. And I have an envelope. Yeah, washi tape. I've got a ho 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 stamp. <laughs> and since I got a Santa Claus, I think that would fit. And we know what kind of washi tape I have here. I've got a bunch of washi tape this summer from Washi Tape Exchange. Be happy, be silly. Stars, stripes. No, don't want those. Don't want any of those. Oh, here's some more. Oh, this candy cane right there. I'll use that. And there's some red polka dot. Okay, I found some tape.
Christmassy. And then this candy cane's really cute. Looks like uh, the striped, what's the striped chewing gum that you get that has the uh, Lucky Stripe chewing gum? And it comes in different colors like this. And it had either a horse or a unicorn or something on it. So I got washi tape. Beads. Well, you know I've got beads. Guarantee you I got beads. Ooh, I got a lot of red beads <laughs> and green. Let's see. What could we do? I got these large um, safety pins. If I put some red and green beads on it, I can tie it onto my bow. If I use a bow or lace or something, that would be good. And use these big, these bigger pins. This doesn't have that little spring in the end. Does, does Allie need any help? How's she doing? Give us a, give us a check in. Yeah, Joan, sing us a song. <laughs> Entertain us. Get some green ones on here, too. She's good. Okay. I've got my beads out. I'm flipping them. I'm throwing them around. And I can uh, scoot some of them around on my pen. I can pin it on my on my bows or something. They're ready to go on. Okay. Now let's see. I've got. Uh, let me get my fiber or ribbon. Where's my ribbon? This is my, uh, I got a, a, a plastic 
animal cracker jar on top of my cabinet up here and I keep I keep uh, little pieces of ribbon and yarn in it and I can see through it so I can see what I'm you know what I want this is good to have around in your craft room this is some of my craft art uh, yarn um, that I made I spun this on the on a spinning wheel last summer and this is some of my art yarn. This I put this in my felting bag because I was talking about it yesterday or the other day. Here's a little red ribbon I can use. A little bit of white lace to go with it. Is that enough? And another piece of maybe some white yarn. Oh, this is pretty could do something with that I'll do something with it but if you got any um, containers you know this is this is good to instead of putting them in a box or in a basket or in a bag in the closet you know you're more apt to use this because you can see what's in it tip of the day that's your tip of the day okay I've got some ribbon and I did my beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Either circles or a photograph. Hmm. Oh, I could probably do a Christmas card. A photograph of Santa. Well, I got a photograph of Santa Claus there. I can get you. I could get a real photograph. I've got another. I got a photo book over here. Uh of uh, that I got at a yard sale a photograph I might have a photograph let's just see oh, oh I have a photograph hang on hang on hang on Here's a photograph. Let's use Jack. It's a Christmas scene. <laughs> Thank you, Joan. <laughs> I think this is a perfect photograph. <laughs> I'm cracking up, girls. I'm cracking up. I got a photograph. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> uh, I'm making myself laugh. <laughs> Didn't take much for me, guys. I'm halfway in the cuckoo house, and this was probably. Uh, what was that scary movie where the hotel that he was in? Was it Crazy House? He played a crazy man in a, a movie. And it was like Christmas time, I think. And they were stranded in the in the mountains on this at this at this abandoned hotel or something. It was some scary movie. I didn't like it. <laughs> He was too scary for me, but he played a crazy guy. And I got Sandy, and I got Jack, and I got a greeting. Got some washi tape. I still want to put some collar down. The Shining. I think that was it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What color do you want me to put down first? This, this is kind of clear. It, 
doesn't go down real real colorful. And I really just want it on the edges. Blue. Okay. We got it. I really just trying to do the uh, edges because I'm going to be putting all those things down. So there won't be a lot of white. I love blue too. This is a glitter glue, ice royal blue. I found it in my drawer somewhere. I'm sure I came out of a yard sale. Oopsie. I better dry it. Yeah, it matches pretty blue eyes. Sorry, Teresa. I was gonna put this in your in your envelope, but I'll have I'll have to give you the other one. <laughs> I'm an Indian giver tonight. But I knew I wanted to use it. Yep, I'm an Indian giver. I mean, I got to give her another one out of the stash. I give her the one on the bottom. We're going to get him. Doc Holiday. I random, I randomly, <laughs> I randomly uh, picked you out some. Okay, and I'm thinking I'm going to put him right there, and I'm going to cut, cut him. Oh, I could just leave it like that. It'll be interactive. If I do that, then I could put my season greetings up here. I wish I knew what was making my eyes itch for two days. My eyes have been itching. Don't know why. This would look really cute on the uh, envelope. Somebody, one of y'all sent me this. Be 
these are pink flamingos. <laughs> cute, cute. Okay. I put him there and overlap him a little bit right there. He'll fit right there. Okay. And I could put Jack in here. He fits in there. <laughs> we'll put him. It's called Jack in the Box. Oh my gosh, I can't stand myself tonight. <laughs> we can we can make him some real some real beard, a real beard. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm just having way too much fun with this. <laughs> We're gonna make Santa Claus a real beard. You know, I felt it a hat Thursday. <laughs> felt it a hat. Did. I'll show it to y'all if y'all didn't get to see it. We had we did a reverse collage, and uh, I made an ice skating rink, and it was a fireman squirting water on the ice skating rink, and I I gave him a Santa Claus hat, and I felted it. Did y'all see that one? <laughs> it was cute. Put this guy down. I like Jack in the Box. I think that is cute. That's where he needs to be. And he he wouldn't mind it at all. He'd love it. He would love it. He's a good guy. He's an actor. He would love it. So anyway, this this would make pretty beard, a pretty beard. I could felt it. I'll show it to you. I got it right here. I just so happened to have it right here. <laughs> of course. Everything's at my at my fingertips. What in this one? What in this one? I think it was up front. It was this one. Remember the fireman? I felt it his hat. Well, I can do the same thing with Santa Claus. I can make his a beard. I'm going to make him a beard. <laughs> was it page 36? Yeah, it was. Very good, Deb. Thank you. <laughs> Page 36. That's right. So let me get, I've got my felt and stuff right behind me. So I can, uh, the, now the only thing is, I might be able to felt this. This will be a test. This is synthetic and it's, and I'm not sure that it's got enough fibers in it to actually do the felting. But I, I could do it in this kind of white, and it's more of an ecru. Sure. We found the sponge.
I've also got some of these fibers. Is this any wider? About the same. It's a little bit wider. I, uh, my sponge, um, it's, uh, I'm wearing my sponge out, and when I'm felting on it, I'm pulling off some of the sponge fibers where it's becoming weak, where I've, I've uh, used a needle on it so much. And so I'm going to put this on it so I don't get any sponge fibers on my project. This will felt down onto the sponge and stay there. Oh, uh, that's what I've done in that's what I've done in the past. Yeah, sponge, sponge, sponge crumbs. <laughs> but this is this uh and you can use any color. This is just a little felt square that I had out. A lot of times I use white because I like to work on white. You can see your projects, but this will work for tonight. But this will felt on, and it's just a piece of felt uh, from Walmart. You know, you get them for like or 12 by 12 or something like 8 by 12, and you can get them for 25, 30 cents a piece at Walmart. So you might, uh, if you if you go out, you might get you a piece of felt to work on if you're using the sponge. And I'm just felting this down so that I can use it as a workspace, as a work surface. And that's all I'm going to do there. So now I want to see if I can felt his beard. And I'll try it. It might work. It's felting a little bit, but it's not... Wool. I'm I'm doing it kind of fast, but uh, if you've not done this, you need to go slower than me. Okay, so don't don't think you have to keep up with me. And I'm going to try to felt this together as a beard, and. Um, I'm going to do them all the same length This and make a little um, rectangle. And then I'm going to put some glue here and I will trim it up after I get it felted. I might need to put a base down first. Because when I pull this up, I'm not sure if these two will stay felted. Well, they might. I still think I need a little bit, bit of a base. Uh, just my common sense is saying if I had a background to felt it on that is that will stay with the project this isn't um, this isn't going to stay with the project but this will when I pull it off when I pull these off again that this string in the back will be on the back side of it and it will help hold it together. You found a felt pillow kit from 1995 in your craft group. Well, I am envy of you eventually not going to do it. So I have some felt. Evidently not going to do it. So now you have some felt. Well, okay. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> you might as well do it. <laughs> Joe, share. You could share it and, and show your pictures and show us what you can come up with. Maybe you could teach us something. Teach us. To, I mean, I, this is all new to me, too. I'm not an expert at this. I, I'm, I do it because I learned it on YouTube. And, and that's the only reason why I'm doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it because it's fun. You know, so anyway, I'm going to take some of these 
this white, I, I want this white ropey to be his beard. Because I think it's cute. I don't even really have to cut it. I could probably zigzag it. I'm going to cut the ends because I could just let it hang down like a tassel. And my, my mind is going 90 mile an hour. It's an adventure of discovery when you go digging in your art room. <laughs> oh, okay. Check out Facebook. <gasps> oh, Allie. <laughs> Look what she did. Already. Boy, you're fast. She's got a picture. She's got a, an envelope. And she's got a button. And some music paper. And he's singing. The dog is singing. Let me let me hold my let me get it still. The dog is singing. The dog is over here singing. Henry likes to sing. And I think it says it'll be annoying or something. But Henry likes to sing. <laughs> so he's singing. He's cute. And that looks like a napkin in the background. And there's your pocket. Does, does Allie have anything in her pocket, in her envelope? And she's got washi tape on it and a stamp. There's a little doggy, uh, a doggy a bone stamp. All right. She got all the prompts. Cheryl's going to watch a little TV. Okay. He's annoying when he sings. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was great. <laughs> now Joan's going to send me a picture. Let's see what she's got. Here it is. She's got a felt holiday creations kit. Perfect for quick and easy Christmas gifts. Well, I think I think you just need it cost a dollar fifty. <laughs> uh, that's a bargain. It's a winter cabin with all the fabric. It's a pillow, fourteen by fourteen. All the fabric patches included. Nineteen ninety six. Merry Christmas. It looks like it's almost put together. <laughs> You're welcome, Terry. You'll have to watch me finish my, my Santa Claus <laughs> beard. <laughs> I got some new ideas for it. We got some new ideas. I'm going to keep it all attached. Very good. I'm looping all the loops at the top of the beard. And I'm going to let all of these guys hang down. And I'll cut these when I'm done felting. 
after I get it glued down. And I'm just felting this little part right here. This just a finger length is all I'm felting at the top. And the rest of the locks, these little curls are going to go down on his beard. And I've got some fibers underneath the back of it that is a wool fiber that is, uh, I'm felting it too. So when I take it off of here, off of this little sponge, I can glue it down over here. That's my plan. So I've got this fiber on the back of it that's kind of holding it together. I bet Joe's in there in the TV room with his eyes closed. I bet he's sleeping because... Frosty the Snowman's on, and I know he's not watching Frosty the Snowman. <laughs> he might have went outside. He probably took Abby out. I think he took Abby out. Because I know he's not in there watching Frosty. Cheryl's closing her eyes. I think she's getting we're she's getting sleepy. So now I can snip all these. Pull this up. Trim this off. And I got me a little beard. Looky there. I can trim it a little bit. There's Abby. Did you go outside? Uh, did Daddy give you a snack? Mm -hmm. I'm going to glue him down just like that. There's that. So I got some fibers. And what else do I need? I was going to use a stamp, and I still have my music notes to put on. music paper right there Jackson the envelope and then I'm going to take my ho 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 and stamp it on the music paper And I'll do it in red. Cherry cobbler. I think it's going to be cute. Nope, I haven't hardened myself yet, Cheryl. I, I think I've, I've poked myself enough to know better. 
I have. I think I, I did poke myself the other day once, but it was just barely. And uh, if, if I don't get too aggressive, I think it's okay, you know. Okay, ho, ho, ho. I like that. I do have a little bit more. Um, let's see what else I have. Oh, I've got my pins, my beads. Hi, honey. Hi. I'm making an art page. And uh, Jack's in the box. Jack's in the box. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Here he is. That's Jack. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> it's the actor, Jack Nicholson. That is? Uh-huh. Wow. Is that an old one or something? <laughs> oh, God. Yes, it's old Joe. <laughs> it's old. Probably seventies. It's the it's it looks like it was the the year that he did the shining. Mm -hmm. You know, he did that on set mm -hmm. in a in the snow um at an old re empty hotel like mm -hmm. the yeah. shining. Mm -hmm. That's the same kind of chair your mom's got. It is. My mom's got that same chair. On set. Let's see, it says uh nineteen eighty nine. I think it says 89. I can see it better on screen than I can in my with my eyes. It's hard to hold it still. And I have to do it backwards. Nineteen eighty nine. Jack's in the box. Jack's in the in there. He's a prompt. And this table look cute around my season's greetings. There. Somebody sent me this. One of you girls did. And it looks good. And my beard looks good. got my washi tape done I got my fibers I've got to put my pin on here and I did have a little ribbon I was going to use the ribbon I did fibers I'm done with that put my felting away I put my needle in a safe spot. Very good. Very good. And what else? Oh, they all said hello, Joe. He went back into the kitchen. I got a stamp. I got my music paper. Now, I could do one more little thing. And I think 
gotta close this drawer so I can open this drawer. And I have this little tiny cap <laughs> that I can use one more time before I throw it away. <laughs> and and I'm gonna make some circles because that was one of my things down here. And I'm gonna do it right here. And I'm gonna make red and green circles. A little drop is all I need. <sighs> it looks very merry, doesn't it? Show you how I do this. And now for some more decorations. All right, I got that. And I've got red circles. Now I'm going to make some green ones. Red live buttons will not stay red. Don't understand that one, Cheryl. <laughs> what does that mean? Real, real live buttons or red live buttons. Be right back. Okay. I'm uh, imitating some berries, I guess. Putting red and green. But circles was one of the prompts, and that's the only reason why I'm doing it. <laughs> and I'm just doing it because it looks cute. Random circles. Looks pretty good from, from my angle. Now, I'm going to throw this away now because I've used it. I don't have any more use for it. 
and I've got more caps in the drawer, so we won't fret over that. We got to let go sometimes, right? Now, I still have my, uh, my beads to put on, and I'm thinking about maybe putting it on here. I'm going to let that dry, though. Uh, just let it be the didn't want to do that uh, safety pin it to the to my pa uh, safety pin it to my envelope cover I know isn't that cute the beard turned out really cute I like it I think I'm gonna put this right there so by putting the beads on the other side of the pin, it opens up a little bit. And some of the beads have a hard time going around the bin, but you can do it. It'll work. It'll go. Because that's what these are are full for. So there's because of the spring, you know. Ooh. Terry, can I can I show it? Terry sent me a picture and I don't know if she wants me to show it or not. <laughs> Cause some of the other girls might be interested in it. So anyway, I'm going to put my safety pin on here, and I think it'll be fine because I'm going through the tape, the washi tape on the envelope, and I think it'll be strong enough to hold my safety pin that has my beads on it. I like it. Okay. Terry um, bought a felting kit for her granddaughter. And I think she paid about, um, I'm thinking it was $15. She knows about it. And this is all the wool that she gets. She gets all the little packages of wool. Nice. Okay, Teresa. Okay. Oh, for $13. So right there, there's $13 worth of of collars is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's thirteen dollars worth of yarn of uh, wool right there. And then here is her needles, and she's got these little leather things for her fingers, and they're they're called finger cots, C O T S, and they're the tips of gloves. And you put those on your two fingers when you're holding your wool down. And that way, if you accidentally poke your finger, you've got that leather protection. And then these little wooden dials holds her needles. And then she's got three sizes of needles. There's red, green, and gold. And that's small, medium, and large. And I think one, there might be three handles and, and one's for the large, one's for the medium, and one's for the small needles. And it's two stacks of wool. 
there's they're double there's two there's another stack underneath it that is so worth it right there just to get that whole little set i'd be tempted to buy that if i didn't have everything that i have and she got it on i did have the um and there's needles in the handles as well. So she's got several needles, lots of needles. And she, it looks like there's some foam. And I think I had the, the, the purchase um, link on my Facebook page at one time. If it's still there, I can go back and get it and copy it. If anybody is interested in a kit, this is stacked three stacks high in a little case this is the top case and then she's got two more cases of two different layers of yarn i mean wool she got it on amazon that is awesome terry that is awesome there's enough for you too for both of you to play with i love it and um, we're going to start off with cookie cutters. And I want to, I think it would be neat to do a scenery, which would be something on a piece of felt, like, like uh, from Walmart. So you might need a piece of fabric to felt on. And we will do a scenery like I did with the, the trees. I've got a green piece. I can use that to felt on uh, my scenery. And we're going to do something like this on here. We'll make a tree. We'll do the trunk. We'll do the do a sun and do some clouds and a bush and a grass or something like that. And, uh, but we're going to start off in January. We're going to do cookie cutters first, and then we'll do a scenery. And um, I did talk about dryer balls. I've been working with that this week. And, um, and then as soon as we do those little projects, we're going to do this angel here. We're going to make her. And over Christmas, I'm going to make her. I'm going to make her. And then I will make her again online with you guys. So I can show you step by step uh, of how to make her. And she doesn't have to be in white. She can be in any color, you know, like a pink or blue or whatever color of wool that you have. You can make her dress in any color, okay, as long as you have some of the wool. And uh, you might need some yarn. And, and um, I've got some brown yarn that I'm going to use for her hair. Uh, it's not wool but it's fibrous and I had it out the other day if I can find it it's right here on my table somewhere <laughs> it was like this oh here it is this is kind of a rusty brown. And this is a rug yarn. And it was just something I have in my stash. And um, it's, it is it is uh, plied, you know, like yarn. It's got, it's got several different twists to it. And when I untwist it, it looks like that. And that 
kind of looks like this. <laughs> Those curls look like that. So they'll be perfect for her hair. Um, if anybody is in here and they're going to be making this angel, I can give you a snippet of this yarn in your Christmas card. If you tell me that you want some of this, I'll give you a, I'll give you a snippet of it and it'll it'll go in your in your Christmas card. I don't remember who all said that they had had um, needles and who all was doing it. Um, I did write, I did, I might have it written down here. This is my, this is my list of everybody that was doing it. I'm going to lay this over here to dry because I don't think it's dry yet. So I'll go ahead and put a snippet of this yarn in your, in your Christmas card so that everybody will have her hair. Would that be good? I can do that. <laughs> you all can help. You can help me do it. You want to make her, Sharon? Well, I sent you some uh, a needle. And, and a little bit of wool, you should be receiving that if you haven't already received it. And um, but this will be enough for her hair. But you can use any kind of yarn or any kind of uh, fiber like this. It's just that I found this and it looks so good. <laughs> I'm going to make, I'm going, yeah, we're all going to make her, Sharon. I'm going to make sure everybody, everybody gets to make her. I want everybody to make her that, but that's why I said she doesn't have to be in white, in this uh, white. And I don't have snow white wool. I have, because if you look at cheap, <laughs> none of them are white as snow. They're always this this collar. This is a natural collar for the sheep. And that's what she's going to be. Okay. Terry said that she posted a link for the kit that she bought Allie on my Facebook page for anybody who wants to, wants that number. That was a bargain for that kit. That was a bargain. With all that yarn, each one of those yarns are worth a dollar right there. And she got, she's got 24 collars. So she got a good deal. And all her needles. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Terry. I want to order it. <laughs> I don't need it. I got plenty. <laughs> I got too much. <laughs> uh. So, uh, but, 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 um, but anyway, all for the month of December, I've been going over uh, a few of the felting things and, and I thought I would wait and, and really sit down with y'all after Christmas and, uh, so that we can, I won't have anything on my plate after Christmas, you know, it, it's exciting at Christmas time. Yes, Joan, Joan said she paid $1.79 for a little package like that. And I had a little package of something similar that, that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And it was probably a two-year-old package. It said $1.59. And I guarantee you, if you bought it online, it's more. Prices are a little bit more when you buy online sometimes from, from a store. So... Uh, so anyway, if if uh, I haven't mailed out my Christmas little Christmas cards yet, so I was going to try to mail everybody a card, and if I have your, if I have your address, I can mail you a card, and if I don't have your address, no offense. So uh, 
I'll have to give you a virtual card. <laughs> I have to send you my wishes over the internet. Okay. So anyway, I, I will I will do that with my cards. I'm gonna put this together so I can. These are all the people I have in my felting class. And I need to put Sharon on there because I sent her some needles. And um, and if anybody needs anything, if they're not able to get out, you need to tell me if I if I can help you, I will. Joan, do you have, do you, do you have a needle? Were you able to buy a needle or do you need for me to mail you a needle? I can mail you a needle if you need it. If you don't want to buy the kit. And a little bit of fibers. I have several girls that are buying their own kits. Oh, you got the stuff. Okay, I'm going to put your name on here then. I've got two, two lists going. I've got people who have it and people I mailed to. And uh, I just, I didn't want to, I, I have extra needles and I don't mind sharing at all. And I have a little extra wool that I can share as well. And that's why I said with, with this angel that we're going to make, uh, in case you don't have all of the collars that I have or somebody else has, you can use your own collars and make her any collar address. But I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to show you how to make her. And you have to uh, remember also that underneath her dress, is like a cone and it's hollow underneath. So it's it's not that much fiber. It's just kind of on the outside. Uh, the needles, they come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. They do have gauge numbers. And I think the large number is the small needle and the small, the small number is the large needle, but that doesn't really matter at this point. The larger needle is a thicker metal. And I think if you're learning and, and you have that choice to get a larger need, the thicker needle, then you're not as apt to break it while you're practicing with your felting. So if you have a choice, you know, go with a bigger, with a bigger size of needle versus the, uh, the tinier needle. Uh, the, the finer needle is is when you get more experience and you're doing more detail work like her eyelashes and you know little things like that and uh, but the big the big needle is not too big it's not bulky at all but it's it's better to use and you're less likely to break it so you want to make sure you have you know if you're really liking this hobby then you want to order you a kit and get all the fixings with it and I highly recommend that one that Terry just bought for Allie. Highly recommend that. for It's a good price. So, and it had a lot of fibers with it. And uh, it had all the little finger cots and the sponge. And But I was just mailing out, you know, needles for everybody to try it and to see if they liked it or not. Because you just never know, you know. You may, you may decide you might not like it. You might like the wet felting. And I'm going to do that in, in January too, the wet felting. And I've already demoed that the other night. If you want to watch uh, my video, I, I wrote on there, I think it was Thursday and wet felting. And I did it with water and soapy water. And I felted the little coasters. And oh, here they are. I felted, I felted these two little coasters with wet felting, 
with friction and soap and water. That was this. A few layers of this wool made it made it into felt. And it reminds me every bit of every bit of this type of felt. It reminds me of that. This is done commercial commercially. And this was done right here on my desk with soap and water. Easy to do. And some bubble wrap. <laughs> but you can use cellophane. You don't have to have a bubble. You can use a plastic bag if you don't have a bubble wrap. A Walmart bag will work too. <laughs> I just tried to keep it... Uh, contained in this area to show you it doesn't have to be real real messy you know you do it in the do it on the kitchen table and you won't make too much of a mess so uh but that's what i want to do in 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 january and and so i've been preparing i've been preparing um uh, you know talking about it and uh and i've been doing little bits and pieces of it at all, all week, all month so far. I've done three or four little snippets of lessons. I showed you my art yarn. And this is this is a yarn that I spun on a spinning wheel. If I ever get a hold of a spinning wheel again, <laughs> I want does 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 Lisa have a spinning wheel? I know she does the drop spindle and she has the loom. Okay, okay, okay. Animals are good. Um, uh, that there was one girl that I had mentioned. Her name is Sarah. And, and she is a felting artist. She has a YouTube channel. And she does these forest animals to die for. They are so cute. So cute. Uh, Rin, Rinzuli. Uh, let's see what she does. Let's see if I can find something that she does. Sometimes she has a scenery. And she sells. She sells things as well. Uh, here she's doing a frog. Here's, here's something that she's done. That's her theme song. <laughs> but there she does. It's Santa Claus. There's some gourds. So if you go to her website, I don't want to get in trouble, but if you go to her website, you'll get her get you'll get an idea of what she does. Oh, I like Milo. Sharon, I like the dog. I want to make the dog. <laughs> She's got this puppet. And her 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 uh, camera person, uh, the person that strings with her, uh, <clears throat> does all the camera and the technology, and she does all the felting. And and they have Milo, and he's a dog, and he's felted, and he is so goofy looking, it's ridiculous. And he's got a a, a stragged a straggly tooth and and he's he's always messed up and she and he tells all corny jokes all of the jokes are corny and 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 she just kind of all right now let's get on to the felting part you know okay milo that's enough of that <laughs> but anyway this is some of the the fun art yarn that i have made with these 
with a uh, spinning wheel and I ran, uh, I had some wool rug fibers that was used to make rugs, rug making that I had got a hold of at a yard sale. Somebody had some wool textiles and I looked into them and got the whole bag and I've got a lot of wool and I, and I made, I spun it into yarn and it's chunky on purpose and it's, it's messy on purpose. Uh, the chunkier, the better, because you can use it in your artwork. And that's the whole idea of making the art yarn. That's what I wanted. And I have seen it where they make yarn and they even put add beads into it and they add ribbon and lace and other textiles and other strands of thread. And I've seen a lot of crazy art yarn. So that was my art yarn. So anyway, um, I like, um, I like her because she does good work and there's other people that do it too. There's other people that, that felt as well. There's lots of other girls and there's lots of videos. So I highly recommend you, that's your homework to do all month, uh, is to look at some other videos and, and see what's out there for you. Uh, I'm not the only person that can do this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway enough of that I'm going to bring my page back I like it we have we have Jack in the box <laughs> Jack in the box ho 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 Pick 10. Let me, let me sign it. And it's 12, 14, 19. Crazy. Okay. So, um, what else would you all want to see tonight? Can I go back to my snippets for a few minutes? I'll do some more of my snippets until 10. I do too. It, it, it turned out really cute. I felt it. I did all kinds of fibers on it. Textiles. I love mixed media. This is mixed media. So, but thanks for hanging out with me and doing that. I'm going to go back to my snippets and, and Christmas cards for a few minutes. Doodads. <laughs> yep, time for doodads. Get some more of my Christmas projects out of the way so I can get it all done. Um, so I can get all my, my mail out Monday. Hi, Sue. Well, welcome. Come in late. All right. That's okay. We're 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 going into doing some Christmas snippets now. We started out, now we're going to finish up. Okay, Terry's going to head to bed. Okay, alrighty. I'm just going to stay for a few more minutes for anybody who wants to hang out. Joe's on the phone, so there's no need to get off. <laughs> he talks on the phone more than more than any woman I know. <laughs> <laughs> he does. He's a good boy. He calls his mom all the time. She lives in Louisville. So this is what I'm doing. I made those up before we started. So I've got a stack of squares and colors. So let's 
See, it's got a lot of buffering. I don't know what causes the buffering. Um, I used to, but I haven't buffered for a long time. Uh, I kind of had trouble getting online tonight, but that's because I didn't know what I was doing. So I don't, I'm not real sure what the deal is with the buffering, and I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. But I got an assembly line going on here with my snip, my little clusters. And and if you ever want to do this and lay a piece of paper in here, you can do it with little pieces of paper too. But now this here is Swiss dots, Swiss dotted, and it's felt or um, velvet dots. The dots are, are felted or velvet, which might be the same thing on this piece of fabric. And it's an antique piece of fabric. <laughs> Because I know where it came from. <laughs> came from a, an attic. I know where it came from. Gilly. Hi, honey. We're making some clusters right now. Making a few little clusters. So, what you been doing tonight, Gilly? Watching Hallmark movies. <laughs> Good for you. Joe's got something Christmassy on in there. I hear music. Oh, which which movie was it? <clears throat> which one?
Donna. Hi, honey. I'm making some Christmas clusters. You'll have to get you some Christmas fabric and do some too. You like this, Donna. Hey, everybody. If you don't know it, Craft of Sana, she does videos. And if you subscribe to her channel, you can watch her make a few things. She does some really cute little, little projects. She likes to do ACT cards. And she did a picture frame uh, today, earlier today. I watched, a, watched her made a, call her the picture frame. And put uh, uh, bling on it. <laughs> She put some bling around it. It was cute. But th this is just a used uh, Christmas card. And then I take and put some fabrics together, uh, like little clusters of fabric of all different kinds of Christmas colors. And I just stapled it on the corner of my Christmas card. So it didn't cost anything. I like a little bit of lace on it. You can also put a button. But I'm going to leave these flat so they can go in our Christmas in the envelopes because I'm going to mail them. Heart song. Okay. Is that the one where she's a music teacher and and she has an old house that she's trying to fix up and he's working on the he's like a contractor. <laughs> It's always about a girl and a guy falling in love, right? <laughs> I'm being silly. Hubba hubba. <laughs> Hubba Hubba Contractor. Mm, I heard that. I heard that. <laughs> Anything with muscles, huh? It was a doctor. Okay. I'll have to look it up. I watch them on YouTube all the time. Uh, Hallmark movies. Mm-hmm. Doing good. Moving along.
So anyway, um, we played a pick 10 tonight for those of you that just came in. So if you want to rewind to see what we did, it was real cute. <laughs> this was my pick 10. And we put an envelope on here. And I'm calling it the box. And then we have Jack in the box. And this was my photograph. And he's in the envelope. <laughs> yes, Deb, you can do exactly what I'm doing with paper. Use Christmas paper, wrapping paper, and, and Christmas things. Um, I've got another, another tab here or a Christmas card that I did and I even put it I um, made it into a, like a Christmas tag and this one's got a real chunky button it's got beads on it and one of my uh, safety pins with beads and a bell but this is too thick to go in for an envelope so I'm making these flat so that they'll go in my Christmas cards but I can still do a, a put a piece of yarn on it or thread or something string yep it's just a Christmas card that's a sample but uh, my girlfriend gave me some old Christmas cards and I cut the backs of them off and I'm using them for my tags. And you can really, really do these up as much as you want. Um, if you you could you could even cut them out a little bit more fussy cut. You could use decorative scissors. You can use uh, snippets of uh, Christmas paper to make your little clusters. Tie a little bow on it. You can do all kinds of things. The sky's the limit. We had a busy day today. We had our uh, Christmas parade in our little town. It takes about an hour. Everybody goes, runs down to the end of the road down here where I live, and they all get in line with, in the carts and the wagons and their trailers and their trucks, and and uh, they all stand in line, get in line, and and they start the parade. And uh, it lasts for about a half hour, and then everybody goes home. <laughs> I know. We'll be doing Valentine stuff. I'll be doing Valentine clusters. I will. I like that. That sounds good to me. <laughs> Valentine clusters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm keeping up so far. The only I do not have my tree up yet. I will say that. So I'm not going to stress out about it. We'll get to it eventually if we get to it.
So, yeah, it'll be, it'll, it'll, as far as in the house here, it's just me and Joe, neighbors, and uh, we'll go out to eat with our neighbors. <coughs> and we'll go over to my mom's for din Christmas dinner. <clears throat> but we, everybody came over here for um, Thanksgiving. So we'll go over to mom's for Christmas. And we'll probably just do a buffet. That's what we did last year. And it worked out real nice. <coughs> <coughs> and that way, uh, the rest of the family, if they come in, whatever time they come in, everybody can come in and eat at their leisure. It's too hard to get everybody's on when I mean, you got grandkids to get them on schedule to <clears throat> come in and eat and sit down all together. It's hard. <clears throat> So, uh, but we, uh, I've already got my little bags made up for all the neighbors and I'll put, um, something in everybody's mailbox. They each got one of these clusters. <laughs> they got a, a, a Christmas card tag and I had some, uh, Christmas ornaments in my stash over here for my pottery. So I'm, I gave I gave everybody in the neighborhood a ornament, and I don't mind doing that because after we finish our felting session, guess what we're going to get to do? <laughs> we're going to make pottery. <laughs> Always fun in my house. We're having we're going to have lots and lots of fun. So if anybody is a tech, any kind of a, a <clears throat> computer tech, and you can give me any ideas uh, or a video to watch or help me find out, how can I stream from my garage live? And... I know that I can do it. I can I can record, you know, like on my phone and set it up, set up a camera and and film something and then upload it. But I'd like to do it live so that you all can see me actually doing it. And and the only way I know to do it is to set up another computer system in the garage. I'll have to ask. I might be able to go to the AT&T people down the street. At, we have an AT&T store. I might be able to ask in there. Joan says we go to my brother's on Christmas Eve and we have finger food. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to have, uh, you know, we'll have a relish tray and a shrimp tray and, and uh, a cheese ball and finger foods. That's what we'll have. And mom will probably have a, she'll probably cook a ham. So they'll have little hams and little um, Hawaiian bread to, or potato bread uh, rolls to make little sandwiches. Hors d'oeuvres. That's what we like. And she'll probably do a dessert. And everybody's going to graze. There you go. That's right. I'll probably do up a make salad. <clears throat> so, but yeah, I, I need to figure out uh, if can I use my same internet in the garage or or do I have to have another router? I don't know if if I if the signal can't go into the garage or go that far. How can I get a sig Wi-Fi signal in the garage to get online? That's what I'm I'm trying to figure out uh, if I can do it. Chicken salad on croissants. Oh, that sounds good, Joe. I like chicken salad. I could do that. 
chicken and ham. Mm hmm. But that's my that's going to be my homework to do over the holidays is to figure out how to do that. And I know I can I can do some things in here at the desk um, when I'm using uh, cookie cutters and things. I can I can do that here right here and or set up my card table behind me. And uh, you get one of the small chickens. That sounds good. I love to bake my own chicken. I'd rather have my own chicken than the store bought any day, any day. Mm -hmm. So, uh, okay. Now let me think here. What do I need to do? I need to work on my stapler because I put new staples in it and they're not stapling. Surely I didn't put them in upside down. I don't think I did. It's got a hook on it so I can undo it. This comes off and then the staples come out. It doesn't look like it's clogged. It worked before. <laughs> so I'm going to put some more staples in. Put my little doodad back in. I don't guess it's in upside down. Does it have an upside down side? Maybe that was it. Let's see. Nope, it won't go in that way. That has to go up. This goes in like this and it hooks. Let me try it again. Let's see here. Clusters. Who ever thought of clusters? It had to be a grandma thing. It had to be. Oh, it works so much better than the other one because it's a hand thing, but I can't get it to work. That's not fair. And I can't take it back because I know I threw the cardboard away. It's not working. Maybe I have it in wrong. It has to go that way. I'm pretty sure I got it together right. Surely I don't have to Google it.
They don't work. I liked it because it had the, it was a grippy thing. <laughs> Not a creature was stirring. <laughs> My cat, it, she's um, kind of a loner. She sleeps in the hallway, but when it's real cold, if it's real chilly, she'll come and get on the bed with us. And of course, Allie's always in the bed with us. <laughs> And I've got a picture of Abby asleep with two cats <laughs> at her back. It's so funny. They were all spooning. <laughs> there was a dog, there was a dog and a, one cat and another cat on that cat. And they were all the same direction. It was so cute. <laughs> yeah, when she when sometimes she stays out all night and she, and she goes out to where Joe's uh, workshop is and uh, the garage like area and she snuggles up somewhere out there she does <laughs> and she's wanting to go out now she knows i'm talking about her abby abby you need to go out <laughs> see <laughs> let's get your daddy to let you out Hey Joe, yeah. can you let Abby out? Yeah. She gotta go. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> she gets so excited. She's excited to go out. Okay, I gotta get some more lace and some more uh collars here. So, oh, Sue, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's really good. It's a nice one. It's a two-seater, and it's a corner unit, so it's only, you know, like a little triangle, and it doesn't, you don't have to have a lot of water, so that means we can empty the water often if we need to. And it's, it's got jets in it. It's got two seats. And one has a pulsating jet that goes up and down the spine. And then the other one's got like six jets at the shoulder blades and the neck. <laughs> and we like them both. We take turns. We'll go, okay, let's slip, you know, and we'll slip sides. <laughs> yeah my cat knows how to stay she's got a fur coat on so what are you going to do <laughs> you know she's if she was cold she'd come back in and uh, but it's not that cold down here yeah my back oh i get my back gets tired sometimes yeah it does
I need some lace. I gotta have a little bit of lace. Where's my uh, my snippet jar? See what I got in here. Yeah, this is kind of an off-white. Well, I know I've got more lace over yonder. That'll work. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll run out of fabric here. Let's see. Well, that was fast. She's back. Say I'm back. Say I'm back. Get your toy. She's so good. She just laid right down like she knew what to do. This reminds me of green mint. Candy canes. I need to iron it is what I need to do. It's all wadded up. Well, I'm about to finish up, I think. Yeah, I'll spearmint. Spearmint. Does anybody ever make any rock candy? Hard rock candy? I've done I've done hard rock candy before. I got a twofer out of that one, front and back. Yeah, he needs to do an operation on it. See if he can't fix it for me. But I really don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm pretty good. Pretty mechanical, but... And and they are the right... You know, they're the Tim Holtz uh, staplers. But maybe they're not the right size. I don't have an old one. To, there was only one little... Uh, section of staples to put in it when I bought it. So I'm not sure.
So, wouldn't know where to even start now. Used to decorate cakes. Got away from food crafting. Yeah. I used to do hard rock candy. I'd go to have to go to the pharmacy department to get my oils or my my flavors. Because I guess they're made with alcohol. And uh and the food department said, Oh, you have to get your, get that from the from the pharmacy because it's an alcohol, you know, they wouldn't sell the, the <laughs> So, but I used to make all the different colors of hard rock candy. Oh, and you became a diabetic, so now, yeah. And then um, my sister came up with a wonderful hot chocolate recipe to die for. And it had, I would have to, uh, I'd go out onto the porch and I would sift it with a big, uh, you know, one of those sifters. And I would sift it in a big uh, cake lid that was a Tupperware. It was a big, it's a big round lid, and I use it for a bowl. And I take it outside because you sift the chocolate together. The you do cocoa, Nestle Quick, uh, a, a whole big jar of creamer, coffee creamer like French vanilla, a whole package of confectioner sugar. And then you would put a whole big box of instant milk, dry instant milk. And then you would sift those items together and it would create a dust, a white dust in the house. So you want to do it outside because <laughs> the powdered sugar, it, it creates a dust. So uh, and then and then you put it in your bags or your jars and you add marshmallows on top of that or chocolate chips. Yeah, it is. It's really good. It's real chocolatey in flavor. It's the 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 chocolate milk, which is the Nestle Quick, the dry, <coughs> and the creamer. <clears throat> it's it's not for diabetics, <laughs> and all the sugar, and a whole uh, can of hot, of uh, cocoa, real cocoa. Pulled mints. Oh, that's like that's like candy cane. Making candy cane. And then this year I did make the Chex Mix before Thanksgiving. I made it up and I've still got a couple of big baggies of that left over. <clears throat> uh, and uh, I think I'm going to put them in the... I've got it. I've got them in big bags and I'm, I'm going to put them in some littler bags and give them to the neighbors because <clears throat> it's still good. And it's got <clears throat> rice checks, honey nut Cheerios. And I got the, I got the multi-grain Cheerio brand Cheerios. And I didn't know it, but they're, they're a little bit sweet and it turned out perfect because it needed that little bit of sweet and salt. So there was cherry, multi grain Cheerios, checks, a box of checks, rice checks. Uh, <clears throat> I used Sun Chips, Fritos, Cheez Its. I got the two flavored Cheez Its, the white cheese and the yellow cheese. It's called the Duo in the Cheez It box. I got like two boxes of those in it. A big jar of um, the sweet peanuts, the what do they call the peanuts that have the honey on them, honey glazed peanuts, and then a, a little jar of dry roasted peanuts. And I put uh, the pretzel sticks in it. <clears throat> I had like 11 different types of cereal and crackers in it. Club. The club crackers come in the mini, mini, mini clubs, and they're real small. They look like little tiny mini crackers. They're real small, bite-sized crackers. And um, the Cheez-Its, and the I put the Triscuits in that were the triangle 
triangle kind of triscuits. I, they used to have a triscuit that was triangle, and it was an olive. It was a it was olive garden type of a flavor, and that was my favorite. And I haven't seen it for years, but this was an original triscuit with original flavor. But it was the triangle kind, and they bake up really good. <laughs> And uh, you can also put wheat thins in them. Um, and and I have done bugles, but you can't find bugles anymore like you used to. But I did do the Fritos this time. And I used, all I did was use butter and Worcestershire sauce and some garlic salt in the, in the mixture. And I just drizzled it on top of it and baked it and kept stirring it. And baked it and kept stirring it and baked it and kept stirring it. And then I put them in baggies. Honey roasted nuts. That's what it was. I put a whole big can of those in there. <laughs> so it wasn't a, it wasn't no cheap Chex mix. It wasn't cheap. And the kids loved it when they when they were here. They went through that like fire every night. They got in the Chex mix. <clears throat> oh, you want me to put the hot cocoa mix in the group? Okay, I can do that. I can do that. I got a recipe in my book. I'll take a picture of it and post it. And it is good hot cocoa. It really is because it's got it's got the Nestle Quick in it. It's got the it's got the milk in it. The dry the dry milk. And uh, you can still buy, you can still find the dry milk, instant milk. Yeah, the Triscuits. Um, I, I used to like this one that was an herb, a garden herb. And it had like olive oil in it, a flavor. And that was my favorite. It, it, it was like a, a maybe a chive, onion chive flavor to it. But, but I haven't seen it forever, or at least... My store doesn't carry it, but but I got the regular Triscuits, the original, and they're good. And but they were the triangle ones, and they come, they have all kinds. Yeah, I know they do. So you use whatever flavor you want to put in your Chex mix, whatever you fancy. Oh, and I put Cheez Its in it, the hard Cheez Its. Okay, Sue. Okay. I would be glad to do that. Okay. And I will, Sue. I will share them. I promise you that. <laughs> yeah. And they and they do make the Chex mix already in a pack in a bag that you can buy already mixed up, but it's not as good as when you make it yourself. They put too much salt in it when they make it. <laughs> I like all the different flavors because the the cereal, the cheese, or the um, the 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 rice checks, it's not salty, you see. But then the Fritos, they're salty, you know. And then the then the pretzels have a different salt, you know. And then you eat and eat a sweet nut. It's got that sweet salt balance. You just pick one piece at a time, you know, and you get a different flavor. That's what I like. When I was younger, I used to take different kind of crackers and do the same thing with my crackers. I would dump I would dump three or four different kind of crackers in one little baggie and take it take them to work to eat. It was like having my own little personal Chex mix, my cracker mix. <laughs> So, but anyway, I'm kind of <clears throat> slowing down here. So I think I'm going to quit tonight. I need to get me some more fabric out and uh, some more lace. I got some more lace over there. But these are the ones I did. They turned out real good. There's one, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oh boy, 21, 22, 23, hot dog, <laughs> Lay's potato chips with chocolate ice cream, I don't know, ah, don't mess with my chocolate ice cream, <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm going to quit. I'm tired. It's been a good evening. So, there's 20 of you still in here. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So, I got a, I got a few, I got a few, uh, a few cards to put them in. I got them already stamped. I bought me some Christmas stamps today. So I'll have fun stuffing stuffing in here. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some of this in, some of them. Some of my uh, the ones that get that's been doing that I got on my list. They'll get some extra fibers. So yeah, good night, Sue. Thanks for everybody coming in and playing with me. I appreciate every single one of y'all. <laughs> I got two thumbs down. <laughs> two people didn't care for me. But but you know what? You know, guys, when you give somebody a thumbs down, it don't matter if it's up or down. They just care that you clicked it. All they care about are the statistics that you got clicked. They don't care if it's a good click or a bad click. <laughs> so if you really don't like somebody it's better not to click them at all because then they won't get credit uh-huh so it's a win-win that's right it's good as as good as gold for me <laughs> of course i'm not doing it for the profit <laughs> good night sue <laughs> it's not from you Giovanna, thank you, honey. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys. I know y'all. I know you all the ones that are in here are the ones that uh, hang out with me. I mean, why would you stay if you didn't like it? <laughs> and it's okay. You know, you can't expect you can't expect to make everybody happy. And it's and you know, that's not what it's about. That's why there's different people streaming. And that's why there's so many videos out there to watch. You know, hopefully there's something out there for everybody, you know. And I have, I've listened to people that that I didn't care for. Or I was like, I don't know if I could take any more of this. It's like, let's move on. <laughs> it's like changing the channel. That's what the remote's for. So I don't look at it as a negative. I look at it as a, just a personal choice. And that's okay. So it's just more for you guys. <laughs> oh, look what Giovanna did. She wrote me some sign language. <laughs> it says, I love you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and I do. I appreciate each and one of you. And that's why I like to do this. And that's what I that's why I spend my money on stamps. <laughs> Good night. Yeah, y'all have good good dreams tonight. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. We'll get ready for Monday, and I'll be back Tuesday night. So we'll do it again. You're welcome. I enjoyed doing it. Hi, Norma. <laughs> so if y'all need anything, give me a message. If there's anything I can do for you, let me know. So I'm going to sign off. Good night. <laughs> I'm going to be like him in a minute. Snoozing.
Good night.